Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for the Collective Troubleshooting Your Connection. So Collective, that can mean any of the zodiac signs can resonate with this. Just keep in mind it is a general reading and it may not resonate with everyone. So who are you at this moment? Ah, here's somebody that is expected or unexpected income may come in for you. So let's see, who are you at this moment? Ah, you may be looking at getting together with your group or family members to talk about this unexpected income. This is a big change for you. This is something that maybe you're not used to. Um, perhaps this is a quite a bit of money that you've come into. This is uh, wish fulfillment with the number nine. This is your group or your tribe, number three. And number nine again is a big change in your fulfillment. So you may not have been expecting this money and has really changed. Maybe you're moving, maybe things are going to really go in your favor. Wow, you're going to go on a journey. So whatever uh, you were in before has ended now and you are getting this brand new beginning here. Uh, <laughs> this is quite beautiful already. This is who you are. This is what's happening right now for you or will be soon if it hasn't done so already. <laughs> All right. So let's look at number two. Who is your twin flame at this moment? Who is your twin flame at this moment? Who is your twin flame at this moment? Please let me see clearly. Ah, somebody that's quite enthusiastic. They're embracing this. They're shouting to the heavens with happiness. Nice. All right, so what else do we have? as your twin flame at this moment. You have somebody that is in joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. So they are. Wow, this is somebody that's excited and joyful and delightful. Let's see. Ah, oh, first light. This is a new cycle for this person. So they may be starting a first as well. What is on the bottom of the deck? Overcoming obstacles. Beautiful. You can overcome anything. Wow. So they may have had some really tough goings. Now everything is starting to come together for this person, your twin flame. So what is the shadow between you both right now? So let's see. What is the shadow that may be blocking this? Uh, union from coming in or finding out where things are going wrong. Perhaps this was an obstacle this person hadn't anticipated. This may be somebody you are with or this could be somebody that you are from the past, I suppose, an ex or this could be somebody new. Ah, okay. What is the shadow between you both? So somebody had a victim mentality here or felt like a victim in whatever this was. This could have been an ex here or this could have been your person uh, regardless of who they are uh, or whether you know them or not. They may have just been playing the victim in a bla uh, victim mentality or I kind of feel like the blame game or they may be a workaholic, they may be insecure, and they may discover spirit here. They may be discovering things about themselves even, about changing their mindset here. They're not able to come in until they discover something here though. And they may be discovering things about themselves. That maybe it wasn't you that was insecure, it was them, perhaps this person coming in doesn't even know you and these are the things they're discovering about themselves. Ooh, and even vanity here. Okay. Now, we have the throat chakra, so maybe they talk about themselves a lot. Maybe they talk about work a lot. 
this is root, this is insecurity, this is about maybe losing their identity along the way and having to rediscover who they are, that self-love. And with the green, this is a heart chakra. This may be um, feeling like a victim when it comes to love. Okay, so let's see here. Number four, what keeps you both in the dark at this time? What keeps you both in the dark? Hmm. Maybe there's a lot of options here or a lot of doors that are opening up for you or your person. Number six is all about restoring something, cooperating and having harmony in something here. Ah, there may have been some hostile people that were involved or this person was being hostile to you or you were to your person. The third chakra is the solar plex. There maybe have been some type of knowing self or confidence in the situation, having that self-belief in an ending maybe here with that number 10. What's on the bottom of the deck? Ooh, you may be this woman holding this coin. Number six, you are looking all about that eco give and take, that harmony and cooperation and restoring things to what they could be and kind of getting there. Okay, let's look at how can you both heal this shadow to see the light in one another again here? How can you... Oh, look at that. Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. So, how can you both heal this shadow to see the light in one another? So you need to realize what is causing you to feel this way. You need to look within yourself. There's a hidden reason here. There's a lot of passion, uh, magnetic and seductive quality that surrounds you at the present. Enjoy it. So there is a lot of passion here between you, but there's something causing you to feel a certain way. Yeah, you need to reflect. Give each other some space at the moment and trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. And friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Be a friend to this person. Have that friendship quality towards them. This may help your relationship quite a bit. Oh, and somebody has a secret admirer here. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Perhaps this is just a friend and they want to be more than friends. Maybe you do. Maybe you have more passion for this friendship. You may be looking inside to see what's causing you to feel this way about this person. Maybe you have the deeper feelings for somebody here. Let's see. What is the outcome of this union once the healing occurs? What does this person want to tell you? I don't feel like you're together right now. I feel like you're kind of on your own separate journeys. Maybe they're looking at you overcoming all these obstacles and they're watching you get all this, wow, things that are going great in your life. Let's see. Ah, I hope that you can forgive me one day. Finding out the truth crushed me. Oh, okay, so maybe something happened here between the two of you. This could be you saying this to them. They could be saying this to you. I can't stop thinking about you. I want to feel that way again. You speak to me through music. Wow, that's beautiful too. Okay, tell me more about this outcome. Tell me about the outcome here. Let's see what else we have here. Wow, wedding rings. <laughs> Union, soul, contract. 
you may be single right now living in the moment and having fun and this person is thinking about marriage yeah they want to make new memories with you they may be looking at your photograph or your social media wow twin flames we said who is your twin flame at this moment and it looks like this is what's going down it is your twin flame so whoever this person is that is unable to come in at this time with this vanity workaholic insecurity and discovering things here didn't we have something else in here as well I'm trying to think I thought there was two blue oh that is two blue never mind <laughs> I thought there was some kind of, oh, there was hostilities here. And now that could have been in your energy. It may not have anything to do with this person. This might just be what's going on in your life right now. Maybe somebody's not happy that you're doing well. I kind of feel like you might be dealing with hostilities because you hold a coin now and where you got this unexpected income that was a big change for you you're going on this journey and somebody has a problem with it but there is a secret admirer here for you it was a friendship that you had with this person but they had more than just friendship on their mind they had a lot of passion for you and perhaps they did something here that you did to them or they did to you about forgiveness here maybe they got married and that crushed you or maybe you knew they were married and they were trying to get with you or something happened here but this is your twin flame what's on the bottom of the deck ah you aren't talking now but perhaps you will be soon they may send you a message here text call or email you let's get some more on this this is pretty clear however so Let's just keep going and see, though. What is this journey you're on here? You're on a journey here with this unexpected income. Yeah, look at you. You're showing up as the queen of pentacles. So you are nurturing, practical, and reliable. And you are doing your own material success going on here. So let's look at... Your twin flame who's overcoming some obstacles. Ah, they want a new passionate beginning with you. They're watching you, I feel. Yeah, they they see you as the one, I feel. They you really make this person happy. So what is the shadow between you? Vanity, workaholic, insecurity, discovery, and a victim. Yeah, you're looking for that team player here. Yeah, you you're waiting for your ships to come in here. I feel like whatever insecurities you might be, you might have been a victim in something here. You're discovering whatever your insecurities are through maybe you're working a lot. Maybe somebody sees you as vain or you don't want people to feel that way about you. Yeah, you're a sweetheart. Oh, there's marriage here. Or you're very spiritual. Could be very spiritual as well. Let's look. Oh, yeah, you're looking into spirituality. Look at that. You're learning all about that. All right, let's look at... What keeps you both in the dark at this time? You have a coin and there's hostilities here. Uh, there may have been secrets and there may be some public recognition. Perhaps you were secretive about this or I kind of feel with the moon card here. This has to do with maybe somebody had an internal conflict here or some type of illusion about you getting this public recognition. Maybe they didn't believe in whatever you were doing, but it's paying off for you. So whatever it was, they I, I don't feel like they thought you would be a success at it. Whatever it is. 
Okay. How can you both heal this? This person does have feelings for you that maybe you aren't sure about the extent of it. Yeah, look at that. They want to bring in that offer. You're looking within yourself here. Yeah, the, with the Ten of Swords in reverse, this has to do with learning a lesson. They've learned a lesson already. This is something they've learned. Yeah, they want to plant seeds with you. They learned their lesson about something. Hmm. That's interesting. So the outcome of this union once this healing starts. Oh, there's equal give and take here. You're going to use your intuition. You're going to use your judgment. Oh, look at that. You're no longer in, you're facing whatever fears you have and facing whatever karma is coming your way here. Ah, and you may get some truth or this person wants some type of truth from you. Ah, you may end up walking away from this person or they may walk away from you. Let's crack the deck. Yeah, there may be an ending here. Let's see what happens after tarot here. Let's see what goes on after this happens. So you get on your journey. You're doing well successfully. You may not take somebody back from the past. This may be your past person. They may be seeing you. Yeah, you're getting a blessing here of love once you get on this journey. You may have to walk away from this person. Yeah, you're going to get married. Let's see, what's this woman? No, nope. let's see, what's number two here? Who is your twin flame at this moment? Yeah, your wheels turning in your favor here. Yeah, you may be waiting for a message or you're getting a message. Yeah, you're drinking that self-love. You're drinking your own cup here. Slow and steady wins the race. No, that's the king or the knight of cups. Sorry, this is all about love. The idea of love, romance, charming. Just that. Maybe even an offer or a proposal here. All right. Let's see. What is the shadow between you both? After Terrell, you've learned some things. There's a king of wands coming in for you. You may walk away from this king of swords in order for this King of Wands to come in. Let's see. What keeps you both in the dark at this time? Ooh, there might be an Emperor coming in for you. I wonder if it's all the same person, because you have to be all four kings to be the Emperor. You have to be all four queens to be the Empress. Now, this could be three people also. This could be someone else that comes in and then the emperor comes in but you're getting a blessing of love and marriage here but you do have a secret admirer so it looks like you might get an offer somebody's learned a lesson and somebody wants to plant seeds with you let's see what does this offer, this Knight of Cups? Oh, somebody wants to take a leap of faith. And you may want to catch yourself before you actually take this. Let's see, what's the planting seeds? Hmm, your ships are coming in. You've adapted quite nicely. Who's that secret admirer then? Hmm. Somebody may have feelings for you. This is somebody that is very nice to look at. And they're showing up in their feminine energy. Even if they are masculine, they're very um, confident and determined and optimistic. And has that fiery uh, feel to them with that queen. It's, this is about action here. They might take action coming in. What is this outcome? Mm, somebody gets caught red-handed here. 
You're going to use your intuition on that, I feel. Yeah, you're being... You, you're looking at judgment here. You're the temperance angel. You're in the flow of things. You're at peace. Yeah, you stand above the rest here. You're going to prevail. You have, a, you have the position of advantage here. Give me one more card for this. Yeah, you're healing. You've already healed from this or you're healing this. Tell me about this. Somebody is going to come in and fight for this union. They want to... I feel like they want to share their wealth with you or you're willing to share yours with them. Maybe you both have money. Yeah, they want to give you an offer. Slow and steady wins the race. And I feel like this is somebody that is very good with their money, practical, reliable, hardworking, productive. Let's see. What is the Six of Swords here? Hmm. Yeah, lovers. Wow. Now this could be a divine union. This is Gemini energy. This is attraction, harmony. And you may have had to walk away from this person. You may have really loved this person. Yeah, you had to end this uh, with a five of swords here. This is winning at all costs. This maybe have been an empty victory here for somebody. Let's crack the deck. I want to know about the emperor. You may take the offer from the Emperor. What about the King of Wands? They're looking for their Ten of Cups. Okay. So, what about this marriage card? Somebody's working on it. Okay, and who wants to take this? Who wants to give this offer? Hmm, somebody's deciding this right now. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave it there. This is troubleshooting your connection for the collective. So, collective, you may have this going down right now. You may have already been through some of this in however the timeline is for you. But I do feel like you are getting some public recognition. You might be quite mysterious here but you're going to use your intuition somebody's going to get caught red handed maybe they already have been this is something that you're not going to entertain here there is someone else coming in however you're going to have to decide who is who in this whether this person getting caught red handed is this king of wands the king of swords or this emperor it looks like there's somebody here, there's two people you walk away from, and there's one person you take the offer from. So, you're going to know who's who on this, I feel. You drank your own cup, or your person has, that wants this new, passionate new beginning, the wheel of fortune's turning in your favor, or theirs. You're maybe receive a message from this person and they have been doing their self-love now the only person I could see doing that is you or your emperor to become the emperor you have to have done all the self-love you have to have done all the journey in order to get to the ending of being at that emperor status and that is in all areas of their life so that stability, the power, the wealth, being a leader, all of it that goes with that in all areas of their life. So anyhow, that's what I have for you, collective, for your troubleshooting, your connection. All right, you guys, take care. Stay blessed. We'll see you next time. Later.